Welcome to Nomad PHP Lightning Talks. I'm Joe Ferguson. Nomad PHP Lightning Talks are 10-minute talks that give a high-level overview or an in-depth look at a small portion of a PHP-related topic. Lightning Talks are a great way for new speakers to build their speaking resume and for long-time speakers to test drive a new talk idea. Right now we have Amanda Folson and she's going to be talking about zero to API with Lumen. Please make sure you visit Joined In after the talk and leave Amanda some feedback. Amanda, take it away. Hey everyone, thank you for having me. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about getting from zero to API with Lumen. Um, so first off, who am I? Um, I'm an associate PM slash developer evangelist at PagerDuty, um, and I'm just kind of your average consumer of APIs and IPAs. Uh, been doing this for a while, um, and this is this is kind of my, my thing. Um, so let's talk a little bit about Lumen um, and what Lumen actually is. If you're not familiar, it's uh, Laravel's micro framework. Uh, so Taylor basically took Laravel, slimmed it down, uh, but it's still using some of the, the Laravel components that you know and love. Uh, there are a few things that are kind of different, especially in the context of an API, which we're going to go over. Um, so if you're coming from Laravel, uh, you'll notice a few things. Uh, .env and Eloquent are not available by default, so you'll need to enable these in your app.php file in order to make use of them. And this is a decision that, that Taylor made just to kind of keep uh, Lumen slim, uh, and it's, he's kind of made it a, a choose-your-own-adventure sort of thing. So you can make it as slim or as robust as you want. Um, you could actually do a full-fledged semi-Laravel-esque application with Lumen uh, if you felt so inclined. But the idea here is to kind of create some, some microservices here. Um, you'll also note that the router that's used is different from that of Laravel. Uh, it's not that scary. We'll, we'll see a picture of it in a second. Uh, if you understand how routing works in Laravel, then this is not going to be that much of a stretch for you. Uh, the artisan command also has a pretty limited command set just to kind of keep things slim. Uh, so you'll note that there's no key generate command, uh, there's no serve command. So if you're, if you're going to get started with Lumen, uh, you're going to either want to use Homestead, maybe look at uh, PHP's built-in server, and make sure you specify that, you're, that the server should be looking in the public directory. Um, otherwise, you're just going to get a bunch of errors. Um, and you can also use your own stack for something like this. Uh, so I've used Apache, Nginx. Uh, there's actually somebody using Tomcat with Lumen. Um, so you can kind of get crazy with it. Uh, if you're comfortable with the tool, by all means, go ahead and use it, because Lumen's probably going to work with it. Um, so you still have access to migrations. Uh, the migrations you know and love are still there. Uh, you can still seed your database. Um, I'm using Faker to do all of that. Uh, it's great. You can pull it in via Composer. If you've never used it before, definitely check it out because it will help you in all of your projects, not just your, your Laravel and your Lumen projects. Uh, so I, I mentioned the, the routing. It still takes place in the routes file. It's still RESTful. Um, but Instead of getting using the, the facades and things like that, you're, you're just using the app variable. So you can still get post, put, and delete and provide things like that. Uh, like I said, if you're familiar with routing in Laravel, this is not going to be hard for you to grok whatsoever. So let's take a look at this file. Um, you can see uh, we, we have a default welcome page here. Uh, you can still bind these to controllers. In fact, it's, it's encouraged. Uh, you can still do closures if you feel so inclined. Uh, your, the app variable is getting loaded via bootstrap.php. So this is all super, super simple. If you take a look at the bottom of this, this file right here, uh, you can actually see we're just get, post, put, delete, uh, super, super simple HTTP methods. Um, so it's super easy to, to get started building an API uh, right off the bat. And we still have models. Nothing really changes here. Uh, your models are just your models. So uh, it's actually pretty easy to drag and drop certain components of, of your Laravel applications into a Lumen application. Uh, and I actually did just that. It took me about an hour of work to do a little bit of a complex application. Uh, super simple things took me about 20 minutes. So we also still have controllers. If you use Laravel, this is not going to be scary. If you've done any sort of MVC whatsoever, it will look very, very familiar to you. Um, these are still located in the app directory, but since we're making an API, uh, we're going to do something slightly different here. Um, so you'll see I've pulled in Fractal. Um, and controllers and Fractal, they, they go hand in hand. So rather than returning a view like we would with Blade, we're going to use 
fractal and a transformer to format this so that our, our API client can consume it easily. So we're going to extend an API controller. There are tons of examples online of API controllers. These, these can be as simple or as complex as you want them to be. At its most basic, uh, an API controller is just kind of formatting your data and, and returning something uh, with an HTTP status code that an API client can understand. Um, so it just handles all of the, the status codes and things like that for you. Uh, we're pulling in Fractal via composer.json, really easy to do. So think of Fractal like you would views in Laravel, but instead of HTML, in this case, we're going to spit out some JSON. Uh, so here's an example of a transformer. You can see it actually kind of looks like a JSON response. It's not, but uh, we're, we're setting it up here. So you can see we're, we're just taking the, the content of that variable and just kind of laying it out there. Um, so transformers are pretty much what it says on the tin. We're transforming our data into something that a client can use. Um, you can see Hadios at work if you're familiar with this. Uh, we, we have these links at the bottom and th these are things that the API client can use to provide or to actually interact with the data here. So we could realistically add another place, delete a place and, and do things like that. So the idea with this transformer here is to provide a consistent interface. So you can change a whole bunch of things on the back end and your, your clients are never going to see that. So it, it kind of provides a layer between your, your data and your information and what's actually being pr presented to the client. So it's, it's really great. If you're looking to get started with Lumen, um, it's, it couldn't be simpler. Uh, you install Lumen like you would Laravel um, just, and then just Lumen new, whatever your project name is. I've got a really basic uh, example API on GitHub right now, so feel free to check that out. It's super simple, um, looking to add some authentication things to it. Uh, if you'd like to help me out with that, that would be great. And if you're looking to get more into API design, particularly REST, there are some really good resources out there that I, I recommend that you check. Um, so Build APIs You Won't Hate It's written by Phil Sturgeon. Um, Undisturbed REST is a book written by Mike Stowe, uh, and he gets really in-depth into RESTful architecture. It's really good. If you're looking into Blueprint Tools, Apiary is a good way to go, um, and there's also a book called RESTful Web APIs that's fantastic and goes really in-depth for, for REST and provides some good examples there. So that's all I have for you. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining us for another Nomad PHP Lightning Talk. If you'd like to give a Lightning Talk, please email joe at nomadphp.com. Please make sure you visit, join in, and leave Amanda some feedback. Thanks.